Hello and welcome to another episode of the FCHS Family Foodie. My name is Melanie Brill. I am a nutrition educator at Rutgers Cooperative Extension of Burlington County in the Department of Family and Community Health Sciences. And today I'm going, I'm going to be sharing a delicious recipe for an apple spinach salad. With the holidays soon approaching, I can't think of a better side dish for your holiday spread than this salad. With the crunchy apples and the vibrant vegetables, it is a delicious way to lighten up your family favorites uh, for the holiday season. So let's get right to it. The first thing I'm gonna go through is the ingredients. So we have 10 ounces of baby spinach, a half of a red onion sliced, we have two carrots shredded. We have a half a cup of cranberries, a half a cup of chopped pecans. We have a large apple diced. And then that's for the salad ingredients. And for the dressing, the ingredients are a third cup of olive oil, a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, we have a half a teaspoon of honey, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and salt and pepper to taste. Um, if you do need those measurements, I did about an eighth of a tablespoon, or an eighth of a teaspoon, pardon me, of both salt and pepper. Before we even start, is make sure you wash your hands. We wanna make sure that our surfaces are clean, our hands are clean, and any utensils that we're gonna use. The second thing you wanna make sure is that you wash your produce. If you have a vegetable scrubber brush, it's wonderful to use on things like the apples and the carrots. If you don't have one, rinsing it will do just fine. So now we're going to assemble. So what we wanna do is put the spinach in the bowl and then we're just gonna lay our ingredients on top. So I'm gonna start with the apples and I'm just gonna layer that apple right on top. And I'm gonna go for the cranberries. carrots and this recipe is really delicious I mean you can sub out any of your family favorites or anything that you have on hand I think strawberries would be delicious and really any vegetables that you enjoy so the next thing I'm gonna put on is a little bit of the onion and this onion I had today was pretty strong so I am NOT going to use the whole thing and then the next thing we're gonna do is our pecans and I'm just gonna layer that right on top as well All right, so now for our dressing. To make your dressing, I have a mason jar. If you do not have a jar with a lid, you can make it in a bowl. I would just suggest that you start with all of our ingredients besides the olive oil, and then at the end, whisk in the olive oil slowly so it emulsifies the dressing. But because I'm shaking it, I'm just gonna throw it right into the jar. So we're gonna add our olive oil. Hopefully you're a little neater than I am. Our apple cider. Then we have our Dijon mustard. We go for our salt and pepper. Our honey to add a little sweetness. And then, of course, the garlic powder. And I really can't think of an easier or more efficient way to make salad dressing. So now this is the fun part. We are going to take our dressing and we're just going to shake it. So hopefully it'll look something like that. So now all we are going to do Take the lid off and I'm going to drizzle it over our salad. So, I'll take that. And this looks absolutely delicious. We have the vitamins and minerals from our vegetables, we have a healthy protein with our pecans. And the greatest thing about this salad is that it is vegan and gluten free. 
so it will support any dietary restrictions that any of your friends or family members might have. You could also add chicken or seafood or anything you want if you wanted to make it a little hearty, maybe for a meal or a meal prep. So what I really love about this salad is it's packed full of nutrients. We have the omega-3 fatty acids and the pecans. We have the vitamins, the minerals, and the fiber from the vegetables. And overall, it's just a delicious salad that I'm sure you are going to love. So let me actually get some more of those on there, make it look pretty. I really hope you enjoy this recipe as much as I do. And for more delicious recipes like this, please take a look at our FCHS Family Foodie YouTube channel. Again, my name is Melanie Brill, and thanks for watching.